When it comes to air quality, is seeing believing? Look around you. How does the sky appear today? Clear? Hazy? Our ability to see clearly depends on how light reaches our eyes. Imagine that you are looking through a window. You can see what is outside because light is making its way from the other side of the glass into your eyes. Now imagine I threw a handful of flour up into the air. You might still see something, but the image would be blurred because the small bits of flour are scattering the light in many directions. Because less light makes it from the window to your eye, you see less of the outside image. Light scattering also explains why a sky looks hazy. Just as with the flower, light is scattered by small particles floating in the air. The more particles, the more scattering, and the denser the haze appears. These particles can be many things, including smog from car emissions, pollen released from plants, and even flour escaping from a baker's hands. Naturally, different particles with different sizes, shapes, and chemical compositions will scatter light differently. For most particles in the atmosphere, the larger the particle size, the more light gets scattered. When we compare two cities, both regions could very well have the same number of particles, but look quite different to the naked eye due to differences in particle size and type. So, if two parcels of air both contain the same groups of particles, would they look the same? They actually might not, depending on the weather. Take the Los Angeles skyline as an example. It's quite hazy in the summer and much clearer in the winter, but the particle counts and particle types don't vary much throughout the year. What's going on? The large difference in visibility here is mostly due to the changes in humidity. Particles on a more humid day will scatter light more than when the air is drier. What does humidity have to do with light scattering? Well, remember that the amount of scatter depends on the number, the size, and the type of particles. While water vapor can also affect particle type, moisture in the air has the greatest influence on particle size. As particles absorb water, they expand. This increase in particle size leads to an increased light scatter and ultimately results in a hazier skyline. So, next time you're curious about the number of particles in the air, don't depend only upon your eyes. A particle sensor or a website with this information is always the most accurate way to go.